Hi, my name is Mark White from MHR Analytics and today I'd like to introduce you to the first of three vlogs on the new features of IBM Planning Analytics. Now at the end of 2020, IBM introduced three major new features in the latest release. Those are guided applications and plans, uh, introduction of the Cognos Analytics charting engine and predictive forecasting. And in this first video, we'll focus on guided applications and plans We'll take a little bit of a look at the functionality and talk about some of the benefits that are available. OK, so let's log on to IBM Planning Analytics. And first of all, I'm going to log on as an administrator um, to very quickly just show you the basic setup of applications and plans. Um, now, as an administrator, as well as being able to create applications and plans, uh, deliver reports and analysis, we can build data models and also set up system administration. Um, obviously, an end user won't have all of these options. And then down below, as an administrator also, I can see all the applications and plans that have been created uh, within planning analytics. Again, an end user would not get to see all of these. Now, let's take a look at salary and compensation planning. And we can see we've actually got two applications. The first is the head office application. And if we click on it, we can just see how that's set up. So we have um, a description. Um, we have some commentary that goes into a little bit more detail there. We can see that we can break uh, the application down into sections. So we have one section on the current workforce, a top down plan, an individual employee salary review and supporting analytics. Again, uh, descriptions underneath explaining what can be done. And then within each section, we have our assets and the assets are basically the planning analytics workspaces that we've created uh, for these areas. And as you can see, you can either have one workspace in each area or multiple workspaces. So in the analytics one, we've got multiple sets of analytics that we can use. And this basically is an application. Um, it's fairly free format. We can jump around and navigate wherever we want to do. And what you'll see here, there's no workflow associated to this. This is just a bunch of tasks that we can do uh, any way that we want to. Compare that to uh, the manager's version of salary and compensation planning. So what we can see with this one, uh, again, similar layout and design, um, but what you can see here is we can open and close individual sections uh, as they become available. Um, we've also, in this particular case, assigned um, user security groups to this. And what we've also done, uh, because this is a planning task, you can see that we've set a due date when the plan needs to be completed. Um, the fact that it does need submission and also we can see how many people have submitted so far by managing the submissions. Um, so, for instance, we can see here that marketing, uh, which has been done by Emma, um, that is uh, has already been submitted. But I'm, I'm going to reset that because I want to show you how uh, Emma submits that. So very, very quick glimpse on setting up applications and plans. Um, you will notice in here, by the way, that um, there's also uh, uh, a tab for announcements. So when people will log in, there will be announcements in there that tell people uh, specific instructions and things they need to know. Now, if I log out and this time log back in as Emma, what you'll see here is the difference. So with Emma, what you're going to find is she has no uh, access to maintain data models or do administration, and she has limited access to the plans that are available. And if we actually click on uh, her salary and compensation plan, here we can see any announcements, we can see the tasks that need to be completed, we can see which ones require submission, and then she can dive into this and start working on the activity. Now, I'm not going to do a complete demonstration on this, it's really just to show you the general guidance around applications and plans. So again, over on the left hand side, we can see the sections with the multiple um, workspaces within. So for instance, before doing her plan, she might want to look at some industry benchmark data and use that uh, as guidance for doing salary reviews and then come back to the salary plan uh, and make any adjustments and any changes that she wants to make. And as you saw earlier, what we can then do is flag that as submitted um, 
and uh, that's basically controlling the completion uh, of the overall flow. So that would be done by every manager of every department to get 100% completion. Now, if we contrast that to the more open type of application, which doesn't really have any workflow in it, um, again, we'll do this by logging on as the administrator. And what we can see within here is when we open the, um, the head office version of the application, what we'll be able to see in here is more of a free flowing uh, way of navigation. So again, down the left hand side, we can see the areas, we can see any guidance that we have, and also we can jump around wherever we need to. So we could jump into the bottom up salaries um, and we could uh, you know, choose to take a look at the salaries that Emma did earlier because we, we've seen that she submitted that through to us. Um, and again, we can basically manipulate our way around this any way that we see fit. And that's really the difference between an application. An application is more of a free, free flow uh, flowing guidance, whereas a plan has an element of workflow to it. Um, very quick and very easy to set up, create your workspaces as individual sheets, and then very quickly use the applications and fan, plans functionality to basically set up the navigation that's gonna help your end users. So there we go, that's applications and plans. In the next videos, what we'll do is we'll have a look at the Cognos Analytics uh, uh, gra graphics engine, which of which you can see some of this on the screen now, uh, but we'll also have a session on the predictive forecasting functionality as well.